Hello, you wonderful people. So for today's video, I'm gonna talk a little Death Note. And you know, because I, I think I mentioned this in another video, but I always think it's kind of interesting. Like I brought this up to my cousin years ago that the fact of the matter is like, I just randomly were talking about Death Note and I referenced Light, you know, as the protagonist of the series. And she's like, what? No, Light's not the protagonist. L is the protagonist, likes the antagonist. And it's so interesting because the reason why that kind of came to my mind, the reason why I even brought that up was because I was like, oh yeah, I was reading like the Wikipedia article like well after the fact, you know, of like having watched the anime and stuff. I was just like, I don't know. I'm just looking up for extra info because I think I was trying to compare like see what some of the notes were about like the differences between the anime and the manga. Uh, there are differences if you aren't aware. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, um, and th I think the Wikipedia article had labeled Light as the protagonist. And to me, I think that's such an interesting thing because I think depending on your perspective of that series, you could think that because obviously protagonist typically means oh, the hero of the story. I mean, to be fair, that's the thing about anyone's story. No one wants to think that they're villain of the story. Everyone wants to think they're, everyone is the hero of their own story. And in Light's case, it's like, oh, I'm the hero. I'm the savior of this world. I'm gonna be this world's God. I'm gonna punish all that are evil. So yeah, in his own mind and in certain people's perspective, especially if you lean to what the way Light saw the world and stuff like that, because some people would be like, oh yeah, I'm also, I was totally 100% on Light's Side. So some people might look at him as a protagonist and L as the antagonist. Oh, because he's the he's the be, quote unquote bad guy trying to stop Light from doing what he's doing. But then other perspective be like, what the hell are you talking about? Obviously, L is a protagonist. He's the good guy. He's the detective. He's trying to stop you know Light from doing the terrible things that he's done. So people agree, you know. So it's like like I said, it's such a, a perspective situation because it also shows it depends on where you where you align morally. Are you okay with what Light? does because the ends justify the mean or do you kind of go along with L where it's just like no wrong is wrong and you know I, I think that's such a good aspect because I mean if you really break it down like light is the antithesis of what an anti-hero is you know so he kind of more so fits that role but if you like even just you know so because uh, obviously light fi falls into that lane of gray you know things aren't clear cut black and white I mean for some people it is it's like no Light's evil, F him. Some people are like, no, L's the bad guy because he's getting in the way of, you know, creating this perfect utopia and stuff like that. So like I said, it's just, it's such an interesting perspective. Like, I'm sure there are other series that have that, but it's just like, cause I, you know, I, have, I do a series of videos where, you know, I haven't done one in a while where I basically take characters who kind of fall in that category of like, would you label them as a hero or a villain? Obviously Light is a character I did an episode on, but it is a situation of like, it's not something I see that often where like it, the lanes are so gray, where it's just like, oh, this, cause usually it's like, even if you have a, a morally corrupt protagonist in a certain regard, like even you take someone like a uh, Walter White, for example, Walt, that could be a different thing. Like you could be like, oh, Walt's the protagonist, but he shifts into an antagonist. But at the same time, he has other antagonists because he goes face to face with Gus. Not like Gus is a good guy. So it's like, you know, in some, pe some people's eyes, it could be one bad guy versus another bad guy, you know? So some people might look at Walt as a, a anti-hero type of situation. And I mean, I, I don't know. That's like I said, it's kind of a, a gray area, you know, but like it, it's a different gray area than even the light and L situation, you know, I mean, it doesn't just stop with L, it can, you know, go to, um, God, it's been so long. Is it N? Wasn't that like Light's, I mean, L's protege? I, I'm blanking on his name because it's been that long since I've watched Death Note. But nevertheless, like, you know, you get what I'm trying to say though. Because I think, you know, from the perspective of the series itself, you follow Light, so it kind of paints him more in a protagonist light, but still at the same time, I think, oh, I, I didn't mean to make that a pun, but um, even like um, L, like I think even with the perspective that the show gives you of you following kind of Light's perspective, even with L like having like that, you know, still kind of getting L from Light's perspective, I think you still kind of see him as a hero. So that's why I'm like, this story kind of lends itself very nicely to just being like, you can lean in whatever direction kind of fits you more so in the story. Cause I'm sure for some people, like I've talked about it before. I'm one of those people that's like, I wanted Light to get away with everything, which is kind of spoilers for Death Now. Sorry that I said that cause it implies that he didn't. So sorry, uh, but, uh, it's, but other people are like, no, I'm kind of glad like kind of got his just desserts at the end of the day. Like, I, cause I've heard some people have told me like, oh yeah, I was hundred percent with you. Like I wanted like to get away with everything that 
kind of lends itself to another question kind of along with all that like it's all really interesting i just like i said i'd love to get to know your perspective in the comments down below but really that's all i want to talk about and the next time we meet be happy be safe love life to the fullest and enjoy it good day and goodbye